He's back. He's back. He's back. Hey, he's back. He's back. Hello, Dan. I'm so glad you're back on the air. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Oh, it's so good to be back and to be saying these words again. Welcome to today's vlog. Welcome to the return of the vlog. Now, what have I been up to in the month, really, since I ended the vlog? Well, I have been receiving so many amazing messages from you guys. You saw some of the videos there. Just absolutely, really touching, really thrilling to receive those messages. Really warm the cockles of my heart, as, as they say. So thank you to all of you who have sent messages and tweets in the meantime while we've been on the break. It's been a really good break. Thank you for the messages about the family member. They are getting so much better. What have I done in the previous month since the end of the vlog? Well, I, I celebrated my birthday. Happy birthday to you. I've had quite a number of gigs on, including a sellout performance on a Monday night of all evenings uh, at the Pizza Express Jazz Club in Soho in London, just around the corner from Ronnie Scott's, probably the second best jazz club in the UK behind Ronnie's. It was great to lead my own band there for the first time, hoping and know we'll be back there again very, very soon. It was great to see so many of you from the vlog there as well. Uh, we've also been doing the Haymakers. <laughs> talk more about that Haymakers gig and talk about jam sessions soon as well in future episodes of the vlog because I think in the first one I did about jam sessions I was a little bit kind of harsh on things so I also have undertaken a number of filming projects including uh, filming the Archbishop of Canterbury the day after he officiated the royal wedding um, I wasn't filming at the royal wedding although Adenike who uh, sings with my Jazz Vespers group she was in the gospel choir that sang uh, at the wedding and has done loads and loads of stuff after it I don't know whether I'll be able to book her again now she's probably like world famous or something What's really exciting for me is just it undeservedly and then of course the most important thing we spend a lot of time with my family which has been really really great.
And also not vlogging has enabled me to really get back into my practice. And that's something I'm really keen to do as we start this new season of the vlog, this new series of the vlog. There are a number of times when making the vlog and doing kind of elements that would work for the vlog would, was really getting in the way of my practice and what this break has enabled me to realize is that yes I enjoy I love making YouTube videos I want to be able to make more of them which is why I try and push my Patreon page but my number one focus needs to be on making music and that's kind of what I'm, I'm skilled to do what I do and what I want to be able to do as well so it's been great being able to get into doing some more deep practice being able to really really get to grips with some stuff um, just working on new recordings, working on finding new recordings, listening, all those kind of things that sometimes I'm not able to do if I'm putting a vlog together. So what's next? Thank you, Mr. President. What's next? That was just an excuse to get some West Wing B-roll in, but what's coming up over the next few weeks? I have the brand new Yamaha tenor saxophone uh, that I showed you in this vlog in, uh, or is it this vlog? It's this vlog, it's this side, I can't. No, whatever side it is, I've been away for a bit, you'll have to excuse me. Um, but the one I showed you when I was in Frankfurt, that is coming for a comprehensive review. I have some sax necks coming for a comprehensive review. Loads of new mouthpieces coming for reviews as well. I've not been idly wasting the time. Loads of new ideas, some new lessons to show you, some new ideas. I want some more Q&A, so please, I'm going to do a Q&A vlog in the next vlog later this week. So make sure you hit me up with some questions, either in the comments below or via Twitter or Facebook, or even better, as I found from what we did in the intro to this video, I want you guys to be in this vlog more often. I want a community to develop around this vlog. So video your questions and email them to me or send them via uh, Twitter or something else like that. I want to be able to put your face into this vlog. I want it to be more of a community. I don't want you to see me all the time. With that in mind, there's more Coffee with Dan coming up. I've got a, a Coffee with Dan lined up with Greg Fishman, um, with Rob um, Burton, who got to the final of the Your Musician of the Year. We've got and loads of other musicians who I'm just talking to now to try and get these things down. I've also been writing a lot of new music, some of which I'll share in the vlog. The rest of it will be on Patreon, so please head over to my Patreon page if you haven't already and check that out. It's great to be back. I'm up for the challenge. I have made some changes in the way I deal with reading comments, where I do them. I'm going to talk about that in another vlog. I might be a little bit slow reviewing comments because I've taken uh, the YouTube Studio app off my iPhone so that I'm not constantly, you know, I haven't got the trolls in my pocket all the time. I, when I'm dealing with uh, some of the wonderful comments on YouTube, they're not really, that's British sarcasm, I'm going to be in a good place. But uh, you know, it's been really good. As I said, it wasn't the trolls that forced me off. It was the simple fact of uh, this family member with an illness just enabled me not to be able to be in a space where I could kind of deal with some of the stuff that was going on. I just thought it was best to have a little break and be able to focus on them, uh, that, that issue, and also reboot as it were. And I think that's the way I'm going to structure the vlog from now on. I'm not going to be doing it on a kind of whole two year run. I'm going to run it for a couple of years for seasons at a time, and then we'll take a break and we'll be back for the next season, because that's the best way that I can keep generating content that's going to be interesting to you and um, keep myself sane. <laughs> Thank you.